I've had this succulent arrangement for at least two years, and as you can probably see, it is well overdue for repotting. Not only are these Crassula rupestris just like jumping out of the pot, but this Haworthia has put off a lot of new babies as well, and there's a bunch back here. It just needs more space. So today I'm going to disassemble it and repot everything. Just to give you a quick idea from how it's evolved, um, I've had it for about two years, maybe a little longer. And when it was first planted, it looked about like this. It actually looks more full in this picture than it was, but it actually shrank in the year that I had it. It was getting severely underwatered and you can see the Haworthia was almost completely dried up. It just really looked sad. And then these Crassula rupestris, they had that nice red tinge on the edge. They were growing pretty well, but eventually I started watering it a bit more frequently and it's now as you see it. Right now you can see I've watered it on average every 14 days. It's growing inside with grow lights about 18 inches above it. And because I knew I was gonna be repotting it, I wanted to make sure it was completely dry before I started working with it. So it was watered about 30 days ago. Now, just to keep things kind of tidy when I'm repotting, I really like to have an empty bin and I'm gonna pull everything out. going to loosen the soil off of the roots so that I can take a look at what we've got going on here. And it is going to kind of fall apart a little bit, which is to be expected. All right, so we have essentially two plants here. We've got the Crassula rupestris and we've got this Haworthia. I'm not sure the exact variety, but a very nice looking Haworthia with a lot of babies. Now, not all of these babies are sized in a way that I want to break them off from the mother plant. So let's look at that. I definitely want to take this one off because it is quite large. And I'm going to look at the underside. You can see here it has a couple roots of its own. I always like to take roots, if I can, that are still attached to the plant. So that one came off nice and easy. All of the rest of these I actually feel like are a little small. You could pull them off and they would grow, but they will grow faster attached to the mother plant with that nice root system. So I'm just gonna remove the dead leaves and then I'm gonna repot this one into the same pot I just pulled it out of with a little bit of fresh soil. Ooh, and I have to be careful. Some of these babies are, well, there we go. That one fell off on its own. So we'll plant it by itself. Woohoo! Um, this one is still attached. It's trying hard to come off, but I'm gonna leave it attached. And the roots here look really good. This plant is very healthy. So that's always a good sign. It's just growing nicely. It's getting enough water, it's getting enough light, and it will be happy to go back into its pot. All right, this Crassula rupestris on the other hand, it's looking a little straggly. It has these really bare, very woody stems. Now it's normal for crassulas to get woody stems. These just don't look great. But on the flip side, I don't really think that chopping them right now is gonna do me a lot of good. I think I'm gonna end up just repotting this into some fresh soil. And then in a few weeks, I'll chop off a couple cuttings replant those, see what happens to these stems. I'm not sure if there's enough like living plant material right here for it to grow new offsets. You can see it does have a couple little offsets, so that gives me hope. But the combination of repotting it and chopping it seems like a little bit much. So for now, I'm just gonna put it into a pot all on its own, water it for a couple weeks and let it acclimate and then do a little pruning. Now the soil that I had in here is Bonsai Jack's Gritty Mix for succulents. And I really like it overall for growing succulents. With these Crassula, where I want them to grow a little bit faster, I can tell there's a little bit of organic soil in here and it's probably from when I very first replanted these. I'm gonna keep the Rupestris in here and I'm gonna put the Haworthia in just straight Bonsai Jack. I'm gonna put this soil back in and actually mix in a tiny bit of coconut coir so it retains just a little bit more water but still dries out quickly. And that I'm hoping will help get 
plenty of water up to the rest of the plant and help it acclimate better, get some more roots, and then it should thrive once I start pruning it. So I'm just gonna set this into the pot right where I want it and then we'll add the soil all around it. Now I said I'm gonna add a little bit of coconut coir in. I'm just gonna kind of mix it in here in the middle. I could actually like stir it into the soil but for now, I just want a tiny bit more water retention. And so I feel like that will work pretty well. So I got the rest of the soil poured in here and I'm really happy with how it's potted up. I'm gonna wait a day and then I will water it. I don't like to water right after I repot because I like to give the roots some time to heal so that they don't absorb too much water and end up rotting right after you repot. As I said, I'm gonna give the Haworthia a fresh pot and fresh soil. I'm gonna put a little bit in the bottom because I want to make sure the base of the Haworthia is above the rim of the pot. You don't want it to be sunk down in, you're more likely to get rot that way. So I want it to be just at the top of the pot. And again, I'm just holding the plant in place and moving the soil around it. I love working in buckets like this because then I don't have to worry about my soil spilling all over the table. It's just a lot cleaner and I don't waste as much soil. Just tapping it to help the soil settle down in. Or if you follow plants with crystal, she'd say shimmy that soil. And there we have a very nicely repotted Horthia. Then we have these two little Horthia pups that I'm gonna plant also together into a three inch pot. Again, I'm filling this up with soil so that the succulent doesn't sit all the way down inside. I want it to be up above the rim a little bit. This guy has such long roots, they kind of need to be wrapped around and covered up. And then I'm just gonna hold these two about where I want them placed and add the soil in around it. I love having freshly potted succulents. They just are so much happier and now they have room to grow. So there we took one succulent arrangement and converted it into three different pots of succulents. And you can see we can still place them close together to have them be a nice little green arrangement. I'm gonna go ahead and wait one day to water these. I'll put them into the succulent tracker app and then eventually this little crassula, we're gonna prune it. And I'm guessing within the next year, the babies on this bigger Haworthia are gonna be big enough that they'll also be repotted like these. And then I found one itty bitty little straggler from that crassula that will go into my propagation tray.